Think about the multiplayer experiences you had as a kid. According to my YouTube demographics, I would assume uh, you played some Goldeneye, some Mario Kart 64, perhaps some Magnums on Hang 'em High. Ah, a man of sophistication, I see. Capital. Capital, yes. It used to be that multiplayer was the opposite of what it is now. Local split screen was a given. It, it was a no duh. It was a no shit. Of course you can use a multi tap to play Freedom Fighters with four people on a PlayStation 2. Why wouldn't you be able to? People are playing video games with each other. Everybody knows that. But wait a second. What the, what, what the shit is this online stuff all about? Broadband? I hardly know her. <laughs> video games advertised that they had online multiplayer as if it was this special abnormality. Because it was. And I mean, it still is this special thing. Online multiplayer is fucking amazing. The fact that I could call my brother, who lives in Colorado, a stink boy while I accidentally throw a Molotov cocktail at him from South Dakota and Left 4 Dead is incredible. It's it's beautiful. It's, it's Picasso-esque. But is it as good as being able to see my brother's sweet bearded face light up as I call him stinky while we blast through the Pillar of Autumn and Halo Combat Evolved split screen? No. Hell no. It's not even close. And both of these things should be able to coexist with each other. And they did. Beautifully. For a time. The generation of the PS3, 360, and Wii represented a time where local and online multiplayer lived in harmony. Because while online play was definitely becoming a very normal thing during this time, it was new enough that any game that had a multiplayer was still expected to have a split screen mode just like the generation before. Yes, you can play through Resident Evil 5 online with your friend Ricky who lives in Tallahassee, but you can also play through Resident Evil 5 split screen co-op with your little brother who lives on the couch right next to you. Maybe don't play that game with your little brother though. <laughs> because while online play was this great and convenient thing, developers knew that the optimal way to play Halo was still in Todd's basement with a bunch of dudes screaming obscenities at each other, all while inhaling your brother's farts as he holds a code red in his hand, beckoning to you. Hey kid, catch. <laughs> okay, now let's fast forward to now, 2017 AD. How many AAA games do you know of that prioritize split screen on PS4 and Xbox One? Yes, you have the awesome indie games that encourage couch multiplayer like Helldivers, Towerfall, Rocket League, but what about Halo 5? Split screen? No. Nah. None whatsoever. After a, a long lineage of games that thrive on playing on a couch with each other. No split screen whatsoever. What about Overwatch? In your dreams. Battlefield 1, a squad based shooter that really rewards coordination and communication and would probably be amazing with some split screen co op online? What? No. Hell no. What are you, stupid? What? What, you got dumb brain? Oh, you got bozo brain? Yeah, yeah, you got bozo brain for sure. But why? Why has there been this dramatic shift where the only way to play a game with another person is with two TVs, two consoles? two fucking PlayStation Plus memberships, and two copies of the same dumbass game. Well, two reasons. Focus and money. The focus, let's use these teraflops. Let's make the most beautiful piece of shit ever at 4K. Oh, you wanna play with your friends because that's more important to you than the prettiest graphics possible in your dreams, weeb. You know how hard it was to get this game to run with just one person playing it? But that's just the focus. Of course it's hard to make a game run well in four player split screen. It's why Goldeneye turns into a fucking PowerPoint presentation when he when you got chairs exploding and Mario Kart 8 chops its frame rate in half when you got four people playing it. But if the gameplay is good enough, it shouldn't matter if the graphics have to take a dive. If your game still isn't fun when it doesn't look the fanciest it possibly can with all the particle effects and peen space reflections, then surprise, maybe your game sucks ass and that's bad game design. People still obsessively play Super Smash Bros. Melee on fucking CRTs. You think they do that because it's in 4K Ultra HDR penis pump? No, it's because it's fun and you can do shit like this. The second reason? Money. Why put in the extra time and effort in development to make a split screen mode for Ricky and his little brother to play after school when we could just make it online only? Sell more consoles, sell more games, and sell more season passes because people are fucking stupid. And there lies the problem. No one is doing anything to stop Activision from selling these season passes 
because there's plenty of see you next Tuesdays out there that keep buying this shit. And the ironic thing is that Call of Duty is one of the few series that continues to have local split screens, so I don't know where I am right now. You know, maybe the gradual shift away from local multiplayer isn't a byproduct of focus or money at all. Maybe it's just the natural evolution for this generation of kids that are constantly connected online with their devices. If everyone is always online, why even make the effort to leave your house? Why? Because it's fun, goddammit! There will never be a replacement for sitting down and actually spending time with your friends in person. Nintendo knows this shit they always have. They just designed a console that literally turns into two separate controllers. Here, let me sum up Nintendo's stance on multiplayer in, in three simple words. Eight player smash. My thesis statement for this video, online is great and all, but it will never stack up to the real thing. I can't feed my friends a DiGiorno on Discord. Spend some time with your friends this holiday season. Get together and play some games on a stinky couch while you yell the most obscene things at each other. Spoon feed each other Mountain Dew and for the love of dog, stop blindly buying these season passes. You're better.